Hello, I'm Marie Feebach of FeedYourFamilyTonight.com and today I'm going to teach you how to make a watermelon bowl. It's kind of fun and kind of festive and it's easier than you think. The first thing is you want to make sure that your watermelon is scrubbed and clean to get any of the outside debris off of it. Then if you have a piece of shelf liner or you could even use like a wet dish towel or a wet washcloth, put that underneath your cutting board and that's going to stabilize your cutting board because we're going to be doing some intricate cuts and you don't want your cutting board shifting while you've got a round melon. The next step is decide what you want to be your top and what you want to be your bottom of your bowl. Usually I pick the part that has been sitting in the field that as the bottom it usually has a little bit of brown marks and you're going to take your knife and you're going to slice away from you or down just a small little piece off so that it's stable and it doesn't wiggle. The next step is to slice off a little bit of the top. And I'm going to use my smaller knife for this and I'm just going to slice away from me. Oh no, my watermelon just split on me. Well, we're going to do it differently. We're going to slice this way and we're going to make this be our bottom. That happens. Sometimes watermelons will do that. So I'm going to slice a little bit off this bottom right here. So I still have a stable bottom. Then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to even this out. What I would usually be doing is just slicing off the top to make it nice and even, but because this watermelon didn't like me today, I'm going to even it out and just cut off an even slicing around the top. Once you've done that, then you have the beginnings of your watermelon bowl. Now, your next step is to get the watermelon out of the bowl. And you can do this just by scooping it out with the spoon, but if you want to be fancy, you can use a melon baller. This is a melon baller that has a large size and a small size. And if you put it in and you scoop, you're going to get these nice little round melon balls and you're going to scoop them out one by one. Now, that's a long, tedious process. You can also use a cookie scoop to get larger, nice little circles of watermelon. But you can also just take a large spoon and scrape the watermelon out. You're going to add this back in once you make your fruit salad. So you don't have to be really precise in how you pull it out. You just want to get the watermelon out. You're going to end up with a lot of juice at the bottom of this watermelon. And before you serve or add anything to it, you're going to empty that juice out. Now, to make the fancy edge of this watermelon bowl, you're just going to take a sharp knife and start cutting little triangles. And cut at an angle, little triangles, and they'll start popping out. And you go all the way around the edge of your watermelon, making little triangles. And when you're done, you're gonna have a lovely watermelon bowl. I have a recipe for a super yummy fruit salad that uses a little bit of lemon juice and lime juice to add to the flavor of the fruit salad. That goes really nice in here. I also have a recipe for a watermelon salad that goes really nice inside a watermelon bowl. After you've gone all the way around the watermelon, you're gonna end up with a lovely watermelon bowl like this one here. If you have any questions about this process, visit me at FeedYourFamilyTonight.com or in the Feed Your Family Tonight Facebook group. I'm always happy to answer your questions there.